name is Sasha Cady. I'm the director of marketing at King Estate Winery. I've been here about five years. Explain the North by Northwest project and, and how that began and the partnerships and where you see it going to. Mm -hmm. North by Northwest uh, represents our foray into Walla Walla, which uh, most people associate with Washington, but as you know is in Washington and Oregon. And that's sort of one of the things that's hinted at in the name, North by Northwest. And we, um, we took note of what was happening in Walla Walla. I mean, tremendous quality wines, Cabernet, Syrah, Merlot, that I think is every bit as good as cult wines from Napa, or better in some cases, and at price points that are pretty unbelievable by that standard. Mm -hmm. And um, we saw great quality wines. Uh, we started to develop relationships with Norm McKibben, who you know I think is the, the mayor or the godfather of Walla Walla. He's a, a fantastic guy. And Jean-Francois Pillay, the winemaker at Pepper Bridge and Amavi, is you know skilled beyond belief and a great person as well. And um, you know we developed relationships with them. Our winemakers developed very tight relationships. Uh, we did some work to help promote their wines in a number of states. And out of that sort of blossomed our own Walla Walla based label, North by Northwest, under which we produce Cab and Syrah. Um, we also have a Columbia Valley designation in that, which is, you know, $25 cab, uh, great quality, great. Uh, it's been a great program, and we also saw it as an opportunity to help promote an up-and-coming region that we really believed in, in Walla Walla. We took a lot of our distributors there. Um, we tried to become ambassadors for that region, just as we had been for Oregon in the early 90s. And I think we still have some work to do telling that story, but it's a story that really should be told. Um, the Cab and Syrah were the first bottlings we had under North by Northwest brand. And now we are getting ready to release our North by Northwest Riesling, which is a single vineyard Riesling from the Wallula Vineyard, uh, the Benches it's also known as, which uh, is the same place that Long Shadow sources Poets Leap and um, some Pack Rim Riesling comes from there too. Uh, it's a, you know, one of the most spectacular vineyards I've ever laid eyes on in a spectacular terraced site directly over the Columbia River. Um, at the Wallula Gap, and you know, I'm sure y you and most of your your viewers or web watchers uh, know that geologically speaking, that's a very unique, extraordinary place with mm -hmm. some extremely silty, rich soils uh, from the Wallula Flood or Missoula, Missoula Flood. Yeah, Missoula. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so we've got a single vineyard Riesling. Uh, it's Horse Heaven Hills designated, very dry, you know, again, food friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, when we set out to create that wine, Ed asked the winemakers um, what would a Pinot Gris, what would the King of State Pinot Gris of Riesling be? Extremely food friendly, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we were looking for. And that's what we sought out to do, and I think we've done it. So, where are those more wines made at? Well, that's a great question. Um, for several vintages, we made them at Artifacts in Walla Walla, which is a shared facility uh, run by Jean-Francois and Noel McKibben. And uh, the last vintage was made here, oh. as was the very first vintage. And, you know, we're sort of um, trying to work out what that's going to look like long term. But I think our goal one day is to have a facility of our own, either in Walla Walla or elsewhere in the Walla Walla area, be it Tri-Cities or you know, um, somewhere around there, you know, Seven Hills has a lot of wineries popping up, including Drew Bledsoe's winery. Um, down in uh, in the Tri-Cities area, you know, the Wooloola Vineyard is a spectacular potential place for wineries to be built or built around. And then, you know, we might join the bandwagon and uh, put a tasting room in Woodenville like everyone else has. <laughs> If they can find a place to shoehorn us in there, that right. would be a great possibility too, at least in the short term. But eventually we want to have the authenticity of, of a footprint on the ground.